Hello guys, I bought these uh, 3 inch pod lights and these are 40 watts and they are running effectively on around 35 watts and uh, as you can see it got uh, 4 of the Cree uh, XML T6 LED chips it's not the uh, newest technology or the best but they are still a well-known chip with a good performance and on this side's, uh, on this side's uh, size kind of LED light they are still uh, uh, much brighter than a lot of the competitors use. As you can see this one got the fisheye lenses, uh, clear front hair with uh, uh, what polycarbonate glass if I'm uh, not mistaken, rest free screws here and then it's also uh, you got the cable going in here and it's also podded on the inside with uh, some kind of uh, glue and as you can see it also got the Deutsch connector so it's really easy to hook it up if you got a finished uh, relay harness so the thing I like about this light is that and I will show you later is that uh, the border on the light is like this rectangle shape almost like this of light and the light is really spread out within this rectangle spot which means it's really simple to to uh, direct the light where you want it to light up and it also lights up a big area uh, on a fairly long distance it isn't the strongest spotlight but it isn't uh, just made for flood either so it's a, like a in-between light and I'm gonna mount two of these uh, on the license plate uh, bracket on the top on the front of my car to get some extra light on the high beams because I feel they lack a little bit of light I feel I got more than enough of range but maybe a little bit more wider of the light and for you Americans that are maybe interested in uh, off-roading and stuff this I would say it's perfectly because uh, if you're not traveling too fast, like 200 kilometers an hour, you will have a long enough distance of the light beam and the spread on it will also be amazing with a really even uh, spread. So I will also make a follow up video where I am lighting this outdoors and how it will look on my car. But for now, I'm just going to show, show you guys how the light pattern is. Uh, on the in uh, lighting in lighting it here uh, in my house. I have here hooked it up to my fixed switch power supply, and as you can see, it uh, produces a really nice white light. Maybe I also can get the brightness down on the camera to show you the LEDs running inside there. So this is on the weakest setting, and as you can see, all of them are running perfectly fine on the inside then we will go back to the normal and I think the easiest will be to show it in the roof and as you can see uh, it's a rectangle shape light and within this rectangle everything is really nice and spread out almost looks like a HID beam because there's like no really uh, big hot spot so as you can see it uh, when you are having a short distance it's a pretty small one but on longer distance it grows bigger and as you can see behind there on the window it's really easy to direct the light and you get all the light where you want it as you can see uh, there's a little bit of bleeding on the edges it's because this fissure isn't going all the way 
out to the casting there so it's leaking a little bit on the outside here but otherwise everything on the light uh, is going out to the center here so it's a really effective light in that way so I will make a follow-up video with the I'm when I'm lighting this light outdoors and two of them mounted on my car so I think I will put that video in the description when I am finished making that one. Thanks.